I'm about to install the latest beta release of the free version of Avast. And as you can see from here, quite a few bug fixes have been applied in this latest release. Let's start by doing the installation. I always use custom, that way I get to see what's being installed and where it's being installed. The items that I uncheck, because I don't use them, safe price, cleanup, I don't play games, so I don't need the game mode. Secure line, a paid product, an excellent product. I've purchased it, but if it's not something that you intend to purchase, then you may want to uncheck that item. The recommended items that you should have, even if you go down to bare minimum, are the file shield, behavior shield, web shield, and the mail shield, even if you don't use Outlook or one of the other mail products that are resident on your computer who are given some additional phishing protection by using the mail shield software updater make sure that your programs at least many of them are kept up to date browser cleanup does just that gets rid of garbage on your browser rescue disk something you should run so that in case there's a problem with your system and it can't boot you can use the rescue media created to boot your system even when the operating system itself is damaged. Wi-Fi inspector, make sure that everything connected via Wi-Fi is secure. Security browser extension checks for reputation of a website that you visit. If it's considered not safe because of its reputation, you'll get a warning. Let's do the install. You can use your computer while the installation is in progress. The only thing you should not do is to turn off your computer while the program is being installed. A restart is required to make sure all of the new items take effect. If you used your computer while the installation happened, make sure you finish up what you were working on before you hit the restart button. We're going to postpone it in this demonstration so I can show you what the new version looks like. Although this says that you are protected, I would suggest before you do anything else that you reboot your system in order for all the changes to take effect. Under protection, if it has a lock on it, it is a paid item if you want to keep the free version. These are not items that are currently in effect and if you want to explore them, the only way to get to see them is to pay for a paid version. Under core shields, you see all of the shields that are active. One way to make sure that they all say on. If not, this is where you can turn them on easily. This is where all your scans can be set up, starting with a smart scan, which checks the major portions of your computer and many other things. The rest of them have all the ability to do settings where you can select areas, can select how sensitive settings are when it does a scan how deep it goes into scanning your system. You can also schedule your scans, set exclusions, look at reports after a scan has been completed. Boot time scan will scan your system before the operating system fully kicks in. A great way to catch those things and check those items that normally can't be scanned because they're in use. Virus chest. If it's caught something, you'll find it in here. Anything in your virus chest can't be accessed can't do any harm to your system. This is where you check to see whether or not all the programs that you use, or many of them, are up to date. Wi-Fi Inspector checks your home network to make sure that it's secure. And the privacy, again, if it's got a lock on it, it's a paid product. For me, Secure Line doesn't have a lock because I purchased a license. This would also, if you had installed it, have a lock on it because it needs to be paid. All you can do with it is get a very short trial. Passwords, an excellent password manager, totally free of charge, which can be synced across all devices. For now, that's a quick look at the latest beta release of the free version of Avast. Stay safe, be free. I hope this helps.